faculty visits the Louvre. Today, Lily's visiting the Louvre Museum with her dad and her friends, Timothy and Maxu. They arrive in front of its famed glass pyramid. Look kids, there's a man cleaning the diamond shaped windows, all 600 of them. What a job. But there are also three other pyramids, Timothy notices. Let's hold hands and go inside, says Lily's dad. What a big staircase, Lily says, impressed. Look up, Lily's dad says, and admire the Greek statue. It's the winged victory of Samothrace. But she's lost her head, Maxu sees. Plus her arms are gone. Unfortunately, her arms and head were broken off and never found. But with her wings, it's as if she is flying towards us, Timothy cries out. Look at those cats, Lily exclaims, for Egyptians, cats were sacred. They symbolize the goddess daughter of the sun god, Lily's dad explains. Then long live me, I'm a god, Maxu cries out. I hope not, teases Timothy, or you'll end up in a sarcophagus just like them. Awesome, says Maxu, fascinated, a fighting knight. True, Timothy notices, only his spear is broken. Plus the dragon looks really fierce. Who's going to win, dad? In the end, Lily's dad explains, the dragon is defeated by St. George, a brave knight. Leonardo da Vinci, Lily's dad explains, was a great artist who painted this beautiful woman. Is that the Mona Lisa, asked Timothy? Grandpa told me how lucky you are to visit the Louvre and see the Mona Lisa smile. Hey, stop pushing me, Maxu is annoyed. I can't see a thing. Can anyone recognize the four seasons in these paintings, asked Lily's dad. The flowers are for spring, says Lily. And that one has cherries, replies Timothy, which means summer, bravo. And the one with a crooked nose where nothing grows? Winter, bravo again. The last painting stands for autumn. Hey, they're playing our favorite card game. Looks like it's Snap, says Maxu. They may be playing Snap, but that one is cheating, Timothy answers. Why do you say that, Timothy? Lily asks. Look carefully, says Maxu. Can't you see where he's hiding his cards? Is that a princess, Timothy asks? Yes, it's the Infanta Maria Teresa, the King of Spain's daughter. She's got a weird haircut, says Maxu. I like the bows in her hair, Lily replies dreamily. The Infanta Maria Teresa married a famous French king. Let's go find his portrait. Does anyone know the name of this great king, asked Lily's dad. That's Napoleon, Maxu cries out confidently. Wrong, Timothy knew. That's the Sun King. Exactly, says Lily's dad. This is Louis the Fourteenth, the Sun King. Napoleon was an emperor, Maxu, not a king. At the museum bookstore, everyone has chosen a souvenir. I choose the painting with the cherry, says Timothy. It reminds me of Grandma's marmalade. And I, the knight, Maxu cries out, beware you nasty dragon, here I come. While well, Lily chooses spring, which made sense to Timothy as she was named after a flower. That night, tired but happy, Timothy decides to draw a self portrait. Perhaps one day he too will become a great painter like Da Vinci, Velasquez, Latour, and all the others. The end.